In addition to the boss, other big names, Arlo Guthrie, national and local acts performed here at the Village. It closed in December of 2022, so it's been quiet since then. But you can see the dance floor is ready as this place is getting set for its own second act to open this summer. The Village in downtown Lancaster was a popular stop for many musicians playing the East Coast music circuit for some 70 years. It's certainly been a key part of the lifeblood of the entertainment scene throughout Lancaster. The acts drew big crowds which filled the famed dance floor. So this is the uh, iconic dance floor that lights up from below and uh, we're going to keep it here. The investment group which bought the village hired Rich Ruoff to be the general manager and reopen the music venue which closed its doors in December of 2022. I'm excited. I also know that I've bitten off a lot and I'll be busy. <laughs> Ruoff runs the Roots and Blues Festival and founded the Chameleon Club. So this is his scene. This is the uh, Lizard Lounge. We're going to call it the Lizard Lounge and we're going to renovate it and we're going to put uh, a stage at that end. There will be other renovations. We'll be putting a whole new sound system in, a new point of sale system, some new bar equipment. The village will retain much of its former vibe and Ruoff believes it will have another good run. I think there's a whole new generation of people who will check it out. A lot of excitement building here for this to reopen and expected once again in the summer. It's also going to be a stop on the Roots and Blues Festival Circuit. Of course, Rich is the director of that. So a lot of excitement building uh, for this reopening. So get ready, Lori, to, to come down oh here boy. and uh, celebrate I, this big I'm moment. I'm so at this ready landmark. for that. <laughs> Very few places to go dancing these days. So this is going to be great for the community. Yeah. I love seeing you there, Barbara.